everyone welcome back to dating for millennials so right so today we're gonna be this video is gonna be a lo lot different than the last few ones because my editing i'm trying a new editing technique so guys please be patient with me plus also i've had several complaints about volume so guys please bear in mind i don't have a microphone and i don't live alone so i can't be screaming um I have tried playing with like different editing techniques to make the volume a lot better but I'm still working on that so guys please be patient with the whole volume thing and yeah so forgot to introduce myself hello my name is Denise and welcome to Dating for Millennials episode god knows what it is because I forgot uh oh I've stopped keeping track so in this week's episode the question is can you cheat on someone that you love is it possible for you to cheat on someone you love? Yes! I, I'm kind of like on the fence after hearing everybody's opinion. I'm kind of like yes, but at the same time I'm also like no. Because yes, you can cheat on somebody. Even if you love them. You can hurt their feelings. Even if you love them. And it's like no, but if you love that person, you would never hurt them. Whether intentionally or unintentionally. So I'm on the fence about that one. But we're going to be hearing from everybody else and see what they say so the first written submission is by linda and linda says okay had to cut there there was a lot of noise there's construction next door so there's a lot of noise going on anyway back to so linda says at this point i feel like life can surprise you i think it's possible for someone to cheat on someone they love people cheat for the following reasons Lust, temptation, falling out of love, jealousy and insecurities, knowing the victim can find someone better than the cheater or cheatee, if, that even makes, if that's an actual word. And then lack of attention and boredom and the list goes on and on and on. So if there's one thing I'm always telling people or there's just one fact of life is that when you're bored, you tend to do stupid things, right? And boredom does not just relate to you not having anything to do at home, but sometimes a relationship can get boring. After the honeymoon phase, things change. Maybe you guys are doing separate things, your lives are completely different, and you just kind of get bored and you start looking for someone to make you not bored. <laughs> so, yeah. And then somebody added in the conversation and said, add childishness and stupidity, etc., etc. So, conversation on the group. Next written submission is by. Right, next written submission is by Tapua. Sorry, my laptop glitched there for a second. He says, yes, some people may not feel loved or not loved enough in their current relationship. So, they'll cheat with someone who is filling up that empty spot. In this case, it would be both intentional and unintentional, but mostly intentional because they only want to satisfy themselves. Cheating is a selfish act of evilness. Okay, you... you Cheating is a very selfish thing because you're only thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about the other person. And the fact that some people get very upset when they get caught is like, no, you were doing this for you. It had nothing to do with your partner. This was just you being childish and stupid or being bored or being tempted. So cheating is always intentional. Cheating is unintentional. Why you? Oof. I'd like to have... There's a thought that came to my head, but I'd like to have the conversation another day. Um, okay, so next written submission is by Nolene. And she says, cheating on someone doesn't mean that you didn't, they didn't love you or nor are you loved or nor were you never loved. Cheating is intentional 100%. We do hurt those we love unintentional and intentionally. Sometimes there are reasons for us to behave in such a manner and sometimes there are no reasons. Maybe it's just temptations, for example. So my answer is yes, it is possible to cheat on someone you love. For example, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce and they sorted their ish out and found a way forward. Cheating does not mean that one does not love you. Let's not bring Jay-Z and Beyonce into this. Those people have money, okay? Those people have money and money solves all your problems. I'm joking. <laughs> 
actually, actually no i'm not joking i'm being serious money solves all your problems imagine these people have been together for a very very let's bear in mind these people have been together for a very very long time they have kids um they've made money together so of course you have to sort your ish out nobody wants to divorce and then there's like child support and your uh uh-uh, no no you you sort your stuff out if you're married you sort your stuff out uh next written submission by rose and she says you can't cheat on someone you love you cannot cheating is not a in the moment thing it is well thought out let me clarify for example you're sliding into someone's dms there's no way that just happens you contemplated until you gave in you don't just end up intimate with someone out of the blue you got up showered drove her uber to the location leading to that if your partner did not enter your mind throughout the entire process you either don't love them or you need professional help yes people get tempted i'm not disputing that but the person you're committed to should be the reason enough to fight that temptation off so mm. yo now i'm more swaying to the yes you can't cheat on somebody you love but I, i'm not so sure about the intentional and unintentional part because maybe unintentional would mean uh you're drunk that could be the only plausible explanation for the unintentional part of cheating in my head if there's any other form of unintentional cheating please let me know because i want to know because i don't I don't know how you can un- unintentionally cheat on someone. Maybe maybe you meet someone, start texting them, and then emo- maybe emotional cheating is unintentional. Maybe. Maybe not. But I don't know. So, guys, those are all the written submissions of this week. Those are all the submissions for this week, actually. So, I hope that in this video, the volume issue is a lot better than the last one. And, yeah, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday weekend, long weekend on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? On Tuesday, it is National Women's Month. Happy National Women's Month to all the women in South Africa. I love y'all. You're doing your, doing the most. Keep doing your best. God loves you. And I hope you guys have an awesome day that day. And I hope you have an awesome rest of the month, ladies. This is our month, so it gives us cause and reason to annoy the opposite sex for whatever we want. I am joking. Please don't do that. Don't say I said it because I didn't say it. Technically, I didn't say it, but I said it. Anyway, (laughs) I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I love you. Look after each other. Be a beacon of love and light. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.